just got a call that the caseworker is coming with those four kids. Today? Now. Right now. Hold on. I know. Hold on. I know. I'm freaking. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Listen. Right now, we need to clean up from our nap and do our chores. Yes, and ma'am. I will probably give everybody extra chores. Just help us tell them about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. All right. Be like, Hello. Good morning, guys. So last night we got a sibling set of four brought over to our house. Um, you hopefully saw me telling the kids that they were coming, and the kids helped me clean up the house really quick, and then we just prayed for everything that was coming. Um, so they're doing really good. They're uh, three boys and a girl, ages uh, four to eight. So they kind of like just match our kids' ages perfectly. And everybody's doing really well. They're playing and screaming and having all sorts of fun together. Um, it's chaotic. It is a little scary or overwhelming, but we're just striving really hard to cling to Jesus and to keep our eyes on him and not what the world tells us, which is, this is crazy. <laughs> so, um, so far it's going good. <laughs> um, our plan today is to go to Ikea. We need one more bed with a mattress and then one more just separate mattress to go on a bed that we already have. And then we need to go to Sam's Club and pick up our groceries. Um, Dan stayed up really late ordering groceries, which was a huge blessing because it probably would have taken us like three or four carts because <laughs> we needed a lot of food. So um, yeah, so we're just adjusting to going from four kids to eight kids overnight. We're so thankful that these kids are here. We're so thankful that God gave us another chance to be, to feel like we're on mission for him and serving his children. So the first order of business is breakfast. Thank you. 